Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to take a few moments to share with you one of the perspectives that underlies a lot of my videos, my courses, my training and my coaching. And that is the perspective of incremental improvement, incremental growth. You see, for a lot of my life, or at least a lot of what I can remember or choose to remember even, I was all about becoming better, becoming better than I was yesterday. And if it meant materially, then so be it. But in most cases, it was about becoming better in the ways of thinking, becoming better in improving myself, whatever that meant for me. And so this idea was, you know, percolating in my mind for days, weeks, months, years even. And so today I wanted to share this perspective of you because perhaps it may be of value to you in how you can approach your interactions with the world. And I mention this because it's about doing things incrementally and doing things incrementally means to do things in a small way in a little by little step by step fashion where you build up on the previous action where you build up on the previous accomplishment where you build up on the previous outcome and results so that little by little incrementally over the seconds over the minutes the hours the days the weeks the months and the years you have consciously created for yourself that life that has meaning value and ultimately satisfaction and happiness for yourself and so that's why i want to introduce this slide to you now this slide is called a blueprint for living a subtle and nuanced attitude toward life and before you get all excited about the text that's on the slide i just want to interrupt you for a second here and ask you to take a few moments right now and notice for yourself how it is that you approach life. What kind of perspectives or what kind of framework do you identify for yourself that you see the world with? And this is important because as you all know, I took a lot of coach training and my favorite coach training was from Newfield Network and that ontological framework that they provided. And the idea behind ontological coaching is that there is an observer that looks out from within your eyes and that unique observer interprets every single event, situation, and conversation that you put your body into. And this unique observer is going to interpret all of those things through that body that it has, through the emotions that that body experiences, and then finally, in an intelligent linguistic way, using language, that observer is going to interpret those emotions that it happens upon. And so with this slide, you can see that it begins with a three-pronged approach to the world really. First of all, it begins with the framework. And this is the framework of beliefs, the idea behind that observer that you and I are. And that observer is going to take a series of actions. And those actions are taken within the range of possibilities that exist within this framework of understanding. And when those actions are taken, those actions are going to create results or outcomes and the nature of those outcomes are what determine your level of satisfaction are what determine whether or not they are positive or negative or even mixed according to your interpretation based upon that unique observer that you are in this world the third component for me is about growth and i've noticed at least in my experiences that there hasn't been much around this area at least not in the way that i mentioned down here in this box most of the growth that i've noticed for myself of course as well as for other people that i've surrounded myself with is growth on the material world in the material plane that's not to say that material things are more important or less important it's just material things are there to make that journey at least from my perspective to make that journey inward to make that inward journey something that is valuable and refreshing and important in my life and that's why i use things like truth or reality reflection fulfillment satisfaction and even ultimately happiness and so this is what i want you to notice for yourself what is that framework of beliefs that you have set up for yourself and that framework of belief what kinds of actions are possible within that framework and finally those actions do they lend themselves to growth for yourself in your life whether materially spiritually emotionally 
in whatever other capacities do those actions that were created by that framework of beliefs do those actions create that growth that incremental growth that ultimately you are happy with you are satisfied with that have meaning and value and satisfaction to you and i know that i've asked some really serious questions here and so that's why i'm intentionally stopping this video right now and not continuing further so once again the invitation is to take a few moments and perhaps even as much as 15 20 even 30 minutes to reflect upon the questions that i've asked you and that is how do you identify those actions that you're taking how have those actions help you to live the life that you're living right now and how have those actions not helped you to live the life that you're living right now you see once again going back to the beginning of this video it's about those incremental actions what were all of those little actions that you and I have taken to get us to where we are now? What were all of those little incremental actions that we've taken over the seconds, minutes, days, hours, weeks, months, and years, those little actions, what were they and how have they helped or not helped to get us the life that we can declare satisfaction with, that we can declare happiness with? So I hope this has been helpful. And if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to post below. I am here in the fullest capacities as a coach, as your instructor to provide you with answers to the best of my abilities. So take care of yourselves. Have a beautiful day. And I'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.